Okay, let's take a look at how to use your calculator with radicals. So one thing you want to do is you want to familiarize yourself with that chart, okay, where we look at these perfect square numbers, right? 49 is 7 times 7. 121 is 11 times 11. But the calculator can be very helpful also. If you want to do the square root of 49 in the calculator, there are buttons for that. The square root buttons, if you look over at your calculator, square root button is right here. Now, it's not actually on the button. It's written above the button. And notice that it's in blue. So to engage something in a different color, you need to use this key first, this second key. So let's see how it's done. Let's do the square root of 49. So get your calculator ready, TI30X2S. And we want to do the square root of 49. So we need to press the second square root, 4, 9, and then hit equals. Second square root, 4, 9, equals, and you get 7. All right. Just as we expected. Square root of 49 is 7. Now let's look at one that may not be as familiar, 121, the square root of 121. So on the calculator, we're going to hit second square root 1, 2, 1 equals. Second square root 1, 2, 1 equals. And you'll see that the square root of 121 is 11. All right, how about you pause it and you try the square root of 144. You're going to press the second square root, 1, 4, 4, equals, and you'll find out that the square root of 144 is 12. Okay, 144. Another name for that is a gross. It's 12 twelves, right? 12 pack of 12s, just like you buy Mardi Gras beads. 12 packs of 12s is a gross. All right, now, we're going to see some problems that are not perfect squares, like the square root of 50. It's not a perfect square. In the past, they asked us to simplify it. And when you simplified this, you would get 5 square root of 2. Most of the time, they're going to want you to simplify it. And you can go back and look at the video on simplifying radicals. But sometimes, they're going to tell you to use your calculator to approximate. And when they ask you to approximate the symbol, it's not going to be equals because it's not going to be exact. It's going to look like this. It's, it's like an equal sign with wavy lines. So this is the approximation symbol. So let's put it in the calculator and let's find out. We're going to hit second square root five zero equals and see what you get. Now I get a decimal that looks like it never stops. 7.071. 067812. And I don't think they're going to want all of those numbers in there. So they're probably going to ask you to round. And in this case, I'll round to the hundredths place right here, or round to two decimal places. And we'll call it 7.07. Now, 7.07 .07 is a very good approximation of the square root of 50. But it's not exact because we do lose some of these numbers that were back here. All right, let's try the square root of 8. So assume the question says approximate the square root of 8 using your calculator. And it's going to tell you to use your calculator. So we will press second square root 8 equals. Tell me what you get. I see another decimal that goes on through my whole calculator screen, 2.8284. 27125. Okay, so we'll round this one to two decimal places, 2.83. All right, now let's see how to do a cubed root, okay, or a root to any power greater than two. Now we already saw this done, uh, how to find your exact when you have a cube inside, 
but the calculator will be very helpful for this also. And what we're, what we're gonna use, these buttons, we're gonna use this button right here. Now it's hard to see on this video, but what it looks like, it has the radical and it has an X up as the index. And to use this, we're gonna actually have to put this index first. So, to find the cube root of 27, we have to hit the three first, then second, cube root, and then we'll type in 27 equals. Okay, so let's try it. Clear, three, cubed root, 27 equals. And you'll get your answer, which is three. Let's try another one. Let's see if you can use your calculator and find the cubed root of 125. Okay, pause it now. Go ahead, see if you can find the cube root of 125. In your calculator, we're going to type it like this. We're going to type in 3, then the x root, 1, 2, 5, equals. Okay, so... Three, second, x root, one, two, five, equals. Three, second, x root, one, two, five, equals. And you should get five. Now let's try another problem that's interesting. You know that you can have a negative inside of a radical with an odd index. So let's see what the calculator thinks about this. We're gonna press three, second, x root, negative, this is your negative, okay, not this one, 27, equals. And your calculator knows and should spit back a negative 3, which is correct. Ooh, I know that the square root of negative 25 is not a real number. I wonder what the calculator thinks of that. Let's go ahead and try it. We're going to put in the square root of negative 25. So we're going to use this button right here, okay, not this one. So we don't need an x root, we need a square root. So let's try it. Let's hit second, square root, negative 25 equals, and see what you get. And your calculator should give you an error. It says domain error. Okay, so this is not a real number, and the calculator knows that. All right, let's look at two more. Down here, let's do some fourth roots. Okay, so let's try the fourth root of 16 and the fourth root of negative 16. You may want to pause it now. Uh, if you know how to do it, you can go over to the right and try it yourself. Let's do it. The fourth root of 16. I'm going to hit Second, the x root, oh, forgot to hit the 4, right? All right, let's hit 4. I have to put the index. Second, x root, 16 equals. And you will get 2. And now let's try the last one on here. Let's try the fourth root of negative 16. So we have to put the index first. We'll press four, second, x root, 
negative 16 equals. And once again, we get a domain error. Okay, if your index is an even number, like a square root, a two, or a fourth root, you can't have a negative inside. Okay, it's not a real number. Not a real number, and your calculator gives you a domain error. Narn.